Welcome to episode 11, I think, of the loveliest podcast. Uh, delighted to be here with you today on Wednesday. I'm doing my very best to keep up with my Wednesdays. Um, so really pleased to be here posing as usual. So this is definitely going to be a quick one. And I promise that every week, as always. And I say the same thing. However, it really is this week. Um, it's mostly about Willow Junction 13, which was this weekend just gone. And it was such a lovely show. It's such a really nice time. It's our first time exhibiting. And it's got a totally different vibe to all of the other yarn shows I go to, which is really nice. It's got a kind of a festival feel. So it's in a beautiful farm with loads of creatures and loads of great food and loads of music. And it's in a marquee and it's a really, really lovely show. So I had a very nice time. And of course, my yarn besties <laughs> were there. So it was really nice to see everybody. So I haven't seen Lisa from For the Love of Yarn in months. You know, you just sometimes you forget that you just don't see people between shows. So it's really nice. Although you see them online. Um, it was really lovely to catch up with Lisa and Abby and Almas and everybody else who was at the show that I don't, you know, you see different people at different shows. So that was amazing. And to meet some new people too. Um, so the most of this, and there's a video at the end of this, all about like kind of some clips and stuff. There's lots of baby animals in those clips. Yeah, because nothing makes me happier than getting to feed a baby lamb. Uh, as you can just imagine, I'm still five. I'm pretty sure I'll be, I'll be five and loving feeding baby animals forever. Uh, so a bit of other news. Um, what else is going on? Getting ready for Leeds, which is our next show on June 1st. Um, but most of the work here at the moment, as you can imagine, is for Banshee Yarns. And also kind of making sure that I'm restocking. So there's a lot of restocking plans um, going on at the moment. And we're hoping to have a full shop update of most things by the middle of July. Um, I know that's two months, but we're managing a few bits and pieces here at the shop. So that's, oh, it's really good. But, you know, there are things arriving all the time and there's bits and pieces coming in. Very important arrival today. I was talking to UPS man. We've just had new copies of Line of Five and Line of Seven magazine arrive. So you can find those on the website now. Um, and obviously the line of pre-order closes in the middle of next week for issue eight. Which, you know, they arrived as well with the others. But obviously they're not available and we can share nothing. Which is absolutely fair because Line of put so much effort into it that they must do all the sharing first. As a sneak, what would I say, sneak look? No sneak looks. <laughs> But there is some gorgeous patterns in it. I'm trying to figure out which ones I'm going to knit in Banshee Yarns. Hopefully for the launch. But we'll see how that goes. Um, been doing a small bit of knitting. Mostly casting on. Not half enough casting off. Um, I can show you a few bits. So last week I showed you that I was going knitting the Tiny Cat Sweater. And here's my finished one. Isn't it adorable? It still has a pin in it. So I know where the back is. Um, this is it in Koopnitz Soxy IDK and I think it is glorious. So I'm really excited. The pattern and the yarns are on the website. Um, and I did a blog post uh, last week on just kind of the experience of working and of knitting it. It's a very, very straightforward um, piece of knitting. I would definitely re recommend if you want a DK sweater that's a little bit fun and different. This is a really great sweater. Um, it's so much fun. I want more picky cats on everything. So that's a great pattern. Finally finished it. I really need one myself, but I, I just don't know when that's going to happen. <laughs> oh, someday I will have more peaky cats. Um, and then I finished this as well, which is coming soon. It's my latest sock design. I have two coming, hopefully to launch in the next, I'm going to say three weeks in time, hopefully for woolen. Um, they are inspired by RuPaul's Drag Race this current season so you can even see that this is inspired by the background of it if you don't watch RuPaul's Drag Race go to Netflix watch it all in catch up all at once although you'll be like an emotional wreck for everybody on it um really looking forward to the season finale although I think it's the re the kind of recap week this week and then the final is the 31st of May I think so love RuPaul's Drag Race this were inspired by that. We have another pair to go with it. Um, I'll give you a preview of that. I'm just oh, inspired by Brooklyn Heights. Um, yeah, we're huge drag race fans in this house. We've been to see Bianca Del Rio twice. And we've been to see um, Jinx Monsoon. I think we'd probably go and see them all if we could get to more shows. But uh, yes, so very excited. 
really sad when she went home but I guess who do I want to win now I don't know probably Brooklyn Heights um so yes that is they're my new sock patterns coming really soon and I have finally gotten around to knitting them sometimes samples are the biggest problem it's like you do a design and it, you've done the swatching and you're pretty sure it'll come out the way you want it and of course when I knit that sock I was like yeah let's rewrite really a big chunk of this pattern <laughs> um then a very exciting sample cast on and i have to say i don't know is it okay to be pleased with your own yarns so this is a carpino in banshee yarns echo dyed on the yak sock base um in a four ply so i am pretty pleased with how it's knitting i am interchanging the balls obviously because you should always do that in a sweater I think getting quite a nice effect I'll probably cover how that's done in a blog post at some point because lots of people are like oh I don't want to interchange them but actually you can hide them very well even in a seamless garment um, and I'm kind of you know when you're knitting with your own yarn I'm always worried that it'll crock which is where the dye runs onto your hands or you know you're just not sure it'll patch or it'll pool but I think so far I'm pleased oh, phew, phew. <laughs> Um, and speaking of Banshee Yarns in Echo, our yarn bands arrived today, or last week. So these are the official Banshee Yarn Bands. Obviously they won't be going to cakes, but they will be going on to yarns really soon. Because um, we're about to start photographing for the website, which is still in progress, but coming by the end of the month. Um, we even have insights on our band. So it has all the details of how to look after your yarn, where to find more details. Um, so that's super exciting. We've also had stickers, we've ordered the bags and all the different things, like the merch dice that goes with it. All that remains now is to dice some more yarn and get it launched. Um, <laughs> so hopefully that's coming. Um, but yeah, we started, we've put a few samples in it for the launch, obviously, and we'll be kind of previewing them here. Um, in a couple of weeks time, I think the week before I go to Woolen, we'll probably give you a really, really good preview of the yarns before we launch them at Woolen. So, that is everything for kind of what's going on in the shop. It's mostly sample knitting. Um, I want to show you what I got at Wool Junction 13 and talk about that. But I want to show you something kind of that somebody spoke to me and I think these are great, but they're not a the kind of thing that you buy. So I met Jenny um, at Spring into Wool and she showed me her husband's very lovely jumper boards because they're not something you see everywhere so this is one that's in use um and this is what they look like ordinarily now i'm not being paid for this by the way just in case you think it's a product placement i just think that there's something that a lot of people have a use for and you don't see them as commonly available i will post the details um they are delivered in the uk only at the moment because you can just imagine what shipping those cost they're 100 pounds um, I don't know if that includes shipping or not, but they are £100 to buy the base, to buy the, the board. Um, and you can get them by contacting Jacqueline Stevens. And I'll put those details in the post. I don't sell these myself because shipping would be insane. Um, I don't know what the lead times are. But I just wanted to say that if you were interested, you can get in touch with someone and they'll give you more details. Um, my friend Helen from Christmas Hammy Christmas has one and she thinks they are amazing. Um, I don't know any other stockers. I haven't seen them. I'm sure there are more. And if you want to comment below and share anybody else who stocks those and if people are interested, then absolutely. But yeah, I think jumper boards, something I must definitely invest in um, at some point because, you know, when you make so many jumpers, it's nice to have a blocking board for them. And also just for drying them, um, to be fair, as long as they're kind of part dry when you put them on. So just to give them a mention, they're a British company. So, you know, it's all local. Very nice jumper boards. So... Before I show you the Wallet Junction 13 video, I'll show you what I got. So, two new dyers, not one dyer who I know um, and have met at uh, Yarningham and a load of other shows is Aisha from Dusty Dimples. I love her branding. I love her yarns as well. I've been promising myself a skein of her yarn since I first saw her yarns at Yarningham last year. But you know the way you just, I go by her stand and I go into her stand and I don't know what one to buy. <laughs> So when a customer took one of these out of their bag at the show, I was like, that's it, go and buy it, go and buy it now. I think it's really beautiful. It's kind of got black and pink, so it's really subtle. I think it'll make most beautiful socks. I think Simon actually will have a pair of socks in it. Really lovely. You can see Aisha at, I think she's at possibly the Walmart next. Um, but you'll probably find all of her details online. 
I just the dimples. It's very it's just a beautiful yarn. She does the most beautiful colours. Um that are very, very special and very lovely. And then someone I had not met before is Sarah of Yellow Door Yarns. So I'd never seen Sarah, but I was across from her and her partner set up in like 10 minutes. And I was like, okay, that's just just sickening. <laughs> I was like, we're still here hauling things in, and he was like, done. <laughs> So that's Sarah of Yellow Deer Yarns and this is beautiful. This is called Earth Hour and it was dead. Oh, her yarns are really lovely. She is a master speckler. So she does the most beautiful speckly yarns that I just, I can't, I'm kind of above the solids because I just, speckly isn't really in my, in my skill set. Um, so that is just beautiful. I have a feeling this would make the most beautiful hat or probably sockens. I do love my sockens. Um, if you want sockens, the pattern is on the blog as well. So that is from the lovely Sarah at Yellow Dog Yarns. And it was only two skeins this time, which is good because I am going to have to stop buying yarn at some point, particularly with all the Benchy samples that need knitting as well as all the shop samples for the lovely Sarah company. So that's good. However, I didn't just get your yarn. I got pants. So I was subject to pants. The girl pants with foxes on, super foxes, neon foxes, and other foxes. I got them in a 1416 that'll actually fit me, and then I got them in an 1820, which I couldn't resist because the foxes are lovely. So we have to do a little more alteration. Those. I just anything with a fox on, really. Um, I think everybody knows I do love a fox, but like these are from Joan Itso, who also does lovely errands, but. For anybody who doesn't live in the United Kingdom, the rest of the world, like myself when I moved to the UK first, says pants is in outdoor trouser wear. Uh, pants are knickers in the United Kingdom, uh, just in case anyone's wondering. I was, when I started work first, um, I was working for a Dublin company but based in Northern Ireland. I saw this girl wearing the most beautiful pair of trousers at lunchtime and I went, leaned out and I went, oh my goodness, her pants are beautiful. And my Northern Irish colleague was like, you can't see her pants. I was like, of course you can see her pants, she's wearing them. So yeah, knickers. My niece and nephew roll their eyes when I tell that story. I've told it too many times, apparently. They're teenagers. What are you going to do? So, I got pants. So, that is really all that's going on here. Um, hi, just so many fun things. Um, so, that's really it. I'm going to lead you on into the little video that we made of Bullet Junction 13. You're going to find the first bit a little bit odd if you don't understand the, the drama of Great Wall. Um, I was planning to do a segment on asking everybody how they felt about Gridwall, but I think Almas just stole the show, so I stopped asking after I asked Almas. You'll see why when you get into the video. And then following our little discussion of um, Gridwall, it moves on to just a little video with the very cheesy song that I use for all of my, um, my show videos. And that's really it. Hopefully I will be back. So next week on the blog, I'm planning to do a post about sock anatomy because I thought my first two classes at uh, World Junction 13 this weekend, uh, it was so nice. I was so excited. Um, I'm hoping to do a little bit more of that, um, although I'm definitely not. Like, it'll be a long time you have to earn your rights to be a teacher at a show. Um, so I don't think anybody will be requesting me doing sock lessons, but I'm hoping to do some more online um, and make some more sock knitters because teaching somebody how to make a heel is, is just one of the best, it's one of the best things I've ever done. You know, when you finally say to someone, right, you're done. It's done. You've done a heel and people who've been waiting to do heels for ages. It's so exciting. Um, so I'm hoping to do a blog post on that next week and then there'll be uh, a little post leads review as well. And then we'll do some stuff, but a lot of the next few weeks will be excitedly dedicated to bunch of yarns although we have some new arrivals for the shop as well thank you very much and with that i'm going to pass you over to some baby goats and world junction 13 i'll see you all next week thanks so we're about to start packing for world junction 13 and as always simon is outside getting the car ready for the grid walls the grid walls which are his nemesis um here he comes He's coming in now. He's probably going to be annoyed. <laughs> Where is this being placed on what social network? This is Simon. <laughs> Here we have 
Oh, here I have Brad. He's next door's cat, but here I have. This is Simon's specially cardboard. <laughs> da -da. That we use to protect the grid wall, the car from the grid wall. He loves it. Say hello. Hi. Tell everyone how you feel about the grid wall. I'm displeased. <laughs> <laughs> Stop making me laugh. Here he is. One man against the grid wall. <laughs> so we're about to set off for all at Junction 13. Simon is driving because that's how it is when we're God, my head is always so big with other people in the shot. We're all packed up and the good news is there was not a an incident last night with the grid walls, so they're all happy. Are you happy? I'm thrilled. <laughs> how do you feel about grid wall? I hate it. We are passion. It's annoying. It wriggles. It works. You have to like you have to chain it. <laughs> look, look, look. And the feet. The little tiny screws. Is it going to be the result of your divorce? Yes. Yes. We have a rule now. I don't build a grid wall. Martin builds a grid wall. Otherwise, it will be the reason for our divorce. How do you feel about grid wall? Do you want to see some cleavage? I've got to look sparkly. Sparkly cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> I can't <get> a feel. <laughs>